class. Today we are on Saxon Book 3, Lesson 29, which is fractions of a dollar. So the first thing I want to look at you, look at with you today are these different coins. I have some examples up here. You guys are very familiar with money, with coins. This is a quarter. I would bet the reason we call it a quarter is because it's one quarter or one fourth of a dollar. It takes four quarters to make a whole dollar. So if we look at the fraction here, when we're talking about the denominator, the bottom of the fraction, we want to know how many pieces does it take to make the whole. In this case, it takes four quarters to make one dollar. So one quarter is considered one fourth of a dollar. Take a look at the dime next. It takes 10 dimes to make a dollar. So if we have one dime, what we have is one tenth of a dollar. Then we're going to look at the nickel. It takes 20 nickels to make a dollar. So one nickel is considered one twentieth of a dollar. And finally, pennies. How many pennies does it take to make a dollar? 100 which is why we have a hundred here in the denominator. One penny is one hundredth of a dollar. Okay, so we start fractions with these coins. You'll see different problems where they're asking what fraction of a dollar is, and they'll give you some coins to figure that out with. But right now we're gonna switch gears just a little bit, and I'm gonna ask you what fraction of the shape is shaded. So I have this shape, I split it down the middle and colored in one piece. So think about fractions. We have two parts to a fraction. We have the top called the numerator and the numerator wants to know how many pieces are we talking about. So in this case, we're talking about the shaded pieces. One of them is shaded. The denominator, the bottom number, wants to know how many pieces, equal sized congruent pieces, make the whole thing. So here's the whole thing. How many of these pieces are there? There are two. So in this example, one half is shaded. The next picture is a circle. And this time, it's broken into that many pieces, and these pieces are shaded. What fraction of this circle is shaded? If you said two-thirds, you would be correct. Two pieces are shaded, and it takes one, two, three to make the whole. All right, the next type of example is you might get a problem where it says draw a circle, just draw the best you can, and shade one fourth. So I'm gonna start by showing you what we're not allowed to do. I cannot take a, sh a circle and split it like this. These are not fourths because they are not congruent pieces. They're not the same size or the same shape. Okay, so we never ever split a circle like this. If we're trying to break a circle up, we have to go through the center in order to make congruent pieces. So we're gonna split this into fourths, which means I need four equal pieces. So that's pretty close. And then I'm supposed to shade one of them. There we go one-fourth of a circle. Okay, the next type of fraction problem you might see is a word problem with money. It says Tom held three quarters in his hand. So that's these. He had three of them. What fraction of a dollar did Tom have in his hand? Well, remember the numerator tells us how many we are talking about? Tom had three quarters. 
So we have to put three here. The bottom, the denominator, tells us how many equal the whole dollar. So go back over here. How many quarters make a dollar? Four. So we're going to put four. And Tom had three-fourths of a dollar in his hand. Okay, Mia has seven dimes. I can even draw them here. So they're dimes, they're worth 10 cents. All right, Mia has seven dimes. What fraction of a dollar does Mia have? How many are we talking about? She has seven. How many dimes does it take to make a dollar? You can look back over here if you need to. Dimes, 10. Takes 10 dimes to make a dollar. So Mia is holding 7 tenths of a dollar. That is the last of my examples. I do have a couple lesson practice problems that I would like for you to do. So the first one is a circle like this. And it says, what fraction of the circle is shaded? Just so you can see, that's split in two. So I have two pieces that are shaded there. What fraction of the circle is shaded? Try it on your own before I give you the answer. Hmm. Well, start my fraction with a fraction bar. And how many pieces are colored in? Two, so two goes at the top. How many pieces does it take to make the whole? One, two, three, four, five. So two fifths of this circle is shaded. I want to pause right here and talk about a mistake that I often see on my students' tests. Sometimes you'll get a question that says, write the fraction four. Okay, here's this word, fraction. So I'll have students that read this, they answer a test problem, and the question will say, you know, what fraction is shown in the picture? And they'll write this. And they'll tell me four. Four is the answer. When really the answer was supposed to be maybe four sevenths. They'll forget to put the denominator. They'll just tell me how many pieces are shaded. This is not a fraction. That's a whole number. So if your question is asking for a fraction, you need to make sure your answer has a fraction bar. So whatever, in the last example, we had two fifths. This whole thing is the fraction. You cannot just give me part of the answer because then you don't have a fraction, you just have a number, okay? All right, the next lesson practice problem says what fraction of the rectangle is shaded. So I'm going to split it into equal congruent pieces, and I'm going to color a couple of them in. And before I give you the answer, take a minute and try this one. What fraction is shaded? We have three pieces shaded, and it takes one, two, three, four pieces to make the whole, so three-fourths is shaded. Now I'm going to flip it on you. Say, same picture, what fraction is not shaded? I see one piece here that's not shaded, and it still takes four pieces to make the whole. So one-fourth is not shaded. You have to read very carefully because sometimes they try to trick you with that little word not as well. All right, next question is which coin, maybe I should block this, which coin is one-fourth of a dollar? One-fourth of a dollar. Is it the quarter, the dime, the nickel, or the penny? One-quarter is a fourth of a dollar. Quarter is another word for 
fourths. And three dimes is what fraction of a dollar? Last problem for you. Three dimes is what fraction of a dollar? Well, I have three of them, and it takes 10 to make a whole dollar, so three-tenths would be my answer. That's the end of this lesson. It's time to do your written practice, which begins on page 159. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.